Hello all, Jackie here with Vintiques 98. I hope you're all having a good Monday. Um, as for me, I laid out all my jewelry from this past week and weekend um, jewelry haul. Um, there's quite a bit on the table. I will have to probably do this maybe in two or three videos because it will probably be a little long. So um, I'm just going to get started right here. But give you all a quick look at some of the stuff I have. You're interesting. I kind of separated it. Brooches, earrings, bracelets. So we're going to start right here. These are um, belt buckles that I picked up. They were all in a little bag together. Um, it was two dollars. So I saw this one in there and I thought, well, that might be Bakelite. And it turns out that it is Bakelite. There's um, carving on it. This one I'm thinking I'll put a little pin on the back and make it a brooch. And this brown carved one also turned out to be Bakelite. So, yeah, I don't know what... I'll use that on my scarves most likely. And then we have these other ones. Um, I picked up a couple of rings actually over the weekend. Sorry about my finger there. Um, right here, where is it? This one is very small, gold tone, and I believe that's a jade in it. We have this one here. These two are um, adjustable rings. This one is milk glass. And then this one's just, um, I don't know if it's glass or a rhinestone, most likely glass. This one is very top heavy and here we go with the brooches some thermoset yeah there's the Let me turn it around for you see what this is a lisner 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 yeah is it right there picked up this one here the uh, diamond shapes around have enamel white enamel on it that's the back I'm gonna kind of push them to the side so I don't get them mixed up with as I'm going across and this here floral brooch it's unusual. Out of all the brooches I have, I definitely do not have one like this. So now I do. This simple red and white. I'm sorry, blue and white. Floral brooch. Daisy. And I got this purple lavender kind of unusual a white one this creamy swirled brooch across my way here. Um, I have this little glass pendant that was mixed in with some jewelry. This is a single earring. I bought some jewelry from a little uh, thrift store and this was by itself so the um, man there just gave it to me. I may take this off and just make it a little brooch. I 
I have this set right here that I picked up. I don't know if it's celluloid or just plastic, but it's in two shades of green. A little peridot colored stone in the center with the earrings. There is uh, no marking on these of any kind. I thought those were cute. I'm not sure what these stones are. Um, they're very cold. So I don't know if they're glass or if they're like an actual stone. A gold tone brooch. Again, no markings on this. This one. Aurora Borealis there, around it. And the marquees are open back and the others are closed. I don't know if I can uh, see the color, but it's very nice. And this here, amber colored. Glass brooch, raw marquee cut. These here are all open back. So I picked up a few different ones that are rhinestone. This one here, a lovely. Blue. See if you see this one. They are foiled back. You can see it like right there. Then this pair of earrings here. No mark on them. See that? I have these brass with blue stones in them. Just do one. See if I can get it to stay up so we can see. And these here clip ons are um, baguette crystals or rhinestones. I like the design on the clip. So yeah, and just a pair of red and white twist enamel pierced earrings. And I picked these up um, since I have the bib necklaces and the mesh. I thought these would go with it okay. I hadn't seen the black before, but I hope to eventually find a bib necklace in the black mesh. These are pierced. And then we have these little pink ones. The larger stone is an Aurora Borealis pink. I'm trying to get it to see that. These earrings are small. There we go. And around the top of it has prongs set kind of like a umbrella over the larger stone. These are not marked, unfortunately. And 
And I just picked up these because I like the little AB stone at the top and they're just clear glass. I don't know. I feel like these should have had like a coating over them or something. No marking, you just lift. These here are also very small, but cute. A little teardrop stone, one there. the stop over there we go and also these I found a few small pairs of earrings just like these here I actually picked these up yesterday at the flea market um, let me zoom in here I think it said West Germany yep I don't know what it says on the inside I didn't realize it said anything there. Let's see if I can get it open. Let's see. Let's check. I don't know what that is. If someone could just, you know, maybe tell me. I'll research it when I'm done. But I didn't realize they were marked there yesterday when I was looking at them. So, got those. Of course, some uh, thermoset on these earrings. If I can't get it to stay still. Hold on. A little blue at the top. No marking on them. Then I got these rhinestone clip earrings. Get nothing on those. This here are Monet. However, um, they have the Monet clasp. I don't know if it was an error, but this one is upside down. This one is not marked. It happens to be on the inside of the clasp, on the clip. So I'm guessing maybe a factory flaw. <laughs> I picked up this here. Rhinestone and pearl. I'm sorry, Aurora Borealis and pearl clip-on earrings. There's nothing on them as far as a maker. So, I thought they were kind of cute. This simple pierced Floral earrings. And just some beaded clip on. I believe these just say Japan. Yeah. And I picked these up. The ball. Or little beads to go with my gold beaded um gold my brass beaded necklaces some little daisies here these here are um sarah coventry these uh oops moon shaped ones Monet. I got these green pierced with a wire wrapped around them. 
pick these little screw backs up. And it is marked. This one does also say Japan. And these AB clip earrings. And the color to me is between um, maybe a dark green and a turquoise color. A simple little red silver tone, beaded earrings, pierced. I like the way that they're made, the construction. It's really neat. And these shell earrings, these large ones. I picked these up. Um, this is the kind of earrings my daughter wears. That's for her. And these right here, I picked up a necklace, um, I don't remember when, a few weeks ago, maybe longer, that had the dangle part was exactly like this. It had the stones, then a teardrop with rhinestones in it. So I'm hoping that these match. There is no mark on these at all. So we'll see. And then I have just some simple swirled wire pierced earrings. These are Trafari. I marked it there, pierced. It's a little dangle lucite earrings. <clears throat> and these, I saw them. They were only 50 cent. I picked them up. Um, I like the colors on them. Very uh, bright color. Very large hoops. And they are um, metal. Then I have these thermal set earrings and bracelet set. And this one is not. No markings on it. So. Um, I'll do that one in a second. Picked up this sterling pair of earrings and this little bangle. Let's see if I can adjust it so you can see that etching engraving on it. So yeah, both of these are sterling silver. That's the mark. These have a peach colored stone in them, I think, because it is cold. This is very cold, so maybe a stone or... Yeah, I would think a stone. So that's the first video I still have quite a bit left for you so I will uh, upload this and get a uh, second video started. Hope y'all enjoyed.